As he walks the campus of Rutgers University, Chase Finnegan is looking at a bright future. But it's a future that was clouded just a few months ago. Chase suffered a severe concussion in April in a preseason lacrosse game. It was his fifth head injury in just five years. It's happened so many times I didn't feel the effects right away. But after coming out of the game, it definitely hit me hard. A two-sport star in lacrosse and basketball at Eastern High School in Voorhees, New Jersey, Chase has been an athlete his whole life. His name is appropriate because that's all we did was chase him. My mom used to call me the Energizer Buddy because I never stopped running. But now the head injuries were mounting and the Finnegans worried for their son's future. He slowed down a little bit. He started to get a little different attitude. And we always talked about your brain has to get you a long way yet. It really makes you think about you know, what are the long-term consequences of head trauma like that? Enter Dr. David Gelt, the director of the sports concussion program at the Cooper Bone and Joint Institute. Each concussion is not the same. We don't do a cookbook treatment. I just tell people it's not necessarily the number of concussions, it's actually how long it takes to recover after each one. The bone and joint team treats concussions for young people between the ages of 12 and 18. The biggest thing for concussions is education, not only for the patient or the athlete, but also the students, uh, parents. Concussions are big news, with high-profile athletes suffering long-term effects. The story has even gone to Hollywood. Philly native Will Smith is releasing a movie this Christmas. Those headlines have hit home for those involved with youth sports. Parents are definitely more aware, coaches are more aware, kids are more aware of concussion symptoms. Casey Christie is the athletic trainer who treated Chase's injuries in high school and referred him to Dr. Gill. He was frustrated with the repetitive nature of his injuries. And you know, there can be some uh, some issues as far as cumulative effects or you know, after you sustain one concussion, the re threshold may be lower and you get more. Your heart breaks. Oh my goodness, is this the one where we're gonna see irreparable damage? I read a lot of articles about football players and all the after effects of concussions in long term, so that really weighed heavily on my mind. Chase's senior year was supposed to be a climax to his high school sports career. Instead, it became a scary proposition. I realized the gravity of the situation kind of early, and if that happens again, that could lead to serious problems. So, with the help of his doctor and the support of his parents, Chase chose to give up sports. I finally thought, like, it's not worth one more game to be done for the rest of my life. It was a very emotional time for me because I knew how passionate he was about being a part of the lacrosse team. If you play sports, it's very difficult to all of a sudden stop. He took a very mature approach you know, for an 18-year-old. It was good to hear that he was looking at you know, the big picture and not just saying you know, in the moment, so to speak, which a lot of teenagers do. Sports was huge and it was something that I'm always going to miss, but I think long term, my brain is more important than my sports career. Now Chase fills that void by working out religiously at the gym. The gym mainly is really what I love. It was my passion now. I'm able to still get that same exercise. And while his injuries have taken some things away, they may have steered his future. He's currently pre-med at Rutgers University. My major is cell biology and neuroscience. I wanted to learn about my symptoms and what causes them and what what is a concussion. Whatever path that he chooses, we will be thrilled. A month into the freshman year. <laughs> so, yeah. so. We have a ways to go uh, yet.